Raptors 25 of 28 in the second half from the free throw line. And the Bucks have dropped three straight this week. 117 to 111 the final. We tried. We tried to bet Boston. Um, they lost Milwaukee by 13. Uh, we wouldn't have bet Milwaukee, though, after coming off those uh, poor showings. So, um, either way, uh, mad at both of those teams. So, uh, New York Knicks came through for us, beat Chicago outright by 11. Golden State won by 14 against the Lakers in a must-win game. They beat one more uh, to jump them with the Lakers losing one. Uh, but doesn't matter the 10 versus the 9. So the Lakers are hoping to get to the 8 above the uh, uh, Kings. So maybe both of these teams can still get in. But, you know, if they have to play each other, it's when they go home. So 2-1, uh, and one, uh, profitable day. Uh, we have 8 games today to talk about. Not all of them mean anything, but uh, let's go ahead and get into it. What's up, everybody? Crash here. Welcome back to Crash Against the Spread, where we talk about sports from a betting perspective. It is Wednesday, April 10th. We have eight games on the card, probably go over about five of them. Um, if you like the video, please uh, like the uh, page, subscribe. Uh, we're trying to grow one day at a time. You guys are the biggest help in doing that. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, we have the Grizzlies and the Cavs. Uh, Cavs are 18 and a half point favorites over the Memphis Grizzlies. And the way the Grizzlies have been competing, I don't think that they should be 18 and a half point underdogs versus Cavs team. Of course, it can blow them out, but there's no uh, motivation at the end of this season trying to stay healthy to blow these teams out by this much. So. Um, I would lean, I would lean Grizzlies uh, at this huge number, and I would lean under. But uh, Grizzlies have nothing to play for, and just like the the Wizards competing with the Timberwolves yesterday, you know anything could happen. So, um, Mavs and the Heat next game up. Uh, both teams kind of need this game. Mavs need to stay in the five seed. Heat are trying to move up to the seven. Uh, Heat are three and a half point. Underdogs at home, and I like the Mavs in this game. Both teams are on the back-to-back, -back, but the Heat went to double overtime yesterday with the Hawks. Um, so I think the Mavs will be the slightly more rested team. Um, just the Heat in general had to play more minutes. They didn't have to travel anywhere, which is good. No, they did have to travel. They played in Atlanta last night, so there is slight travel involved in the the Heat getting back home, so like the Mavs, uh, slightly, slightly more rested, um, but we'll see if I get there. Magic in the Bucks, Magic in the four seed, Bucks from two. Uh, Bucks just beat the Celtics yesterday, uh, but Giannis went down uh, with a non-contact injury, so we're still waiting to hear more about that. Um, without him. I like the Magic. Uh, the Magic still have aspirations to get to the two seed, um, maybe even the three because they dropped below the Knicks, who jumped them from the five. So uh, it was pretty much the Cavs and the Knicks switching spots. Uh, Knicks probably have the tiebreaker against the Magic. But uh, Magic still have aspirations to get up there, and it's still a shot. So. Um, I would lean on the Magic to take this game seriously and beat a Bucks team without uh, Giannis. Spurs and Thunder, I would lean Spurs, uh, but I don't think I'll be able to get there in this game. Uh, Shea came back yesterday and immediately scored 40 points. So uh, back to back or not, these are two young teams. 
and uh, I would lean for the Spurs to cover the 16 points, but uh, not going to get there. Timberwolves and Nuggets, uh, another one seed versus two seed game uh, in the West. Nuggets are six point favorites at home. Uh, Jamal Murray uh, might be on a slight bit of restriction tonight. Uh, which in that case, I think that the Timberwolves at plus six is the side. Uh, neither one of these teams, um, or both of these teams are striving to be the one seed. Uh, they're both tied right now. Um, Timberwolves won their last game uh, a couple weeks ago, or two weeks ago. Uh, so I would um, lean on that plus six in a game where uh, both teams are striving to keep their number one spot so Timberwolves plus six and Suns and Clippers lean on the Suns to uh, bounce back from yesterday they lost to the Clippers with no Kawhi and no Paul uh, no uh, James Harden uh, Harden may be back tonight uh, and they both had to travel from uh, Phoenix to LA I would lean on the Suns um, but uh, don't think I'll bet this game either. So uh, the two bets that I'm rolling with today are gonna to be the Magic minus the one against the Bucks and the Timberwolves plus the six against the Nuggets. So lock those in, let's get this money. We'll be back tomorrow to talk some more NBA.